Ateneo 7.3 introduces the native CLU integration. With the CLU integration, you get the option to create, train and manage models with this state-of-the-art intent classifier directly from within Ateneo Studio. In this video, we will see how you add your CLU account to Ateneo Studio, where you find the CLU manager, how you train a CLU model and how you assign the model to the solution. We will also see how you use the CLU classes in the trigger matches, how you can use tryout to inspect the CLU annotation and how you can manage training examples of your model. Finally, we will explore how you can evaluate the performance of the CLU model with test data evaluation and how you can decide which CLU model to include in the stable version of your solution. Teneo Studio Desktop incorporates a new tab, the Account tab. Here you add and manage your CLU account. You need your CLU resource name and the API key for that resource. Only users with the permissions Teneo Admin or the new Modify Account settings can manage the CLU account setting, so make sure to request that permission for the right people on your team to start using CLU in your projects. Once the key has been added and saved, it is no longer visible no matter what permissions the user might have as the CLU credentials are encrypted and they cannot be read in any way. When a resource name and API key is provided in the Accounts page, all solutions within the Ateneo account may make use of CLU. When a CLU account has been added, the CLU Manager is available in Ateneo Studio. If you don't see the CLU Manager icon, that means that no CLU account has been added in your Accounts page. The CLU Manager is integrated with the standard Class Manager functionalities in Ateneo Studio, which means that it grabs the data for training the CLU model directly from the Ateneo Class Manager. The first time you open the CLU Manager, you will see that there is no model available as you first need to train one. When you have added your training data to the Class Manager, you can kick off the CLU model training. To train a CLU model, you simply click Train in the top ribbon. This will start the process of training a CLU model in your CLU account. It takes some time to train a CLU model, and during the process you can track the progress in the window in Teneo Studio. Once the training is done, you will see basic information about the model, such as when it was trained, by whom, and when it expires. When the CLU model training has finished, you need to assign it to the solution to start using it. This is also done in the top ribbon. After assigning the model, you can now start using CLU. In the advanced tryout, you can expect the class annotation as usual. With the addition of the native CLU classifier, it is now also possible to see what classifier was used for the class annotation. CLU or Teneo Learn. Hoover over the annotation results to get the details. Using the CLU classes in your match requirements is simple, as it is exactly the same as using the Teneo Learn classes. Select a class match and reference the class name. When you determine that changes in the model is needed, for instance more examples on a class, you need to update the training data in the Class Manager. You can do that by adding or removing data directly in the Class Manager, or you can add data from your logs via the Optimization panel. To see the impact of the changes in the Class Manager when adding, changing or removing data, you need to train a new CLU model. Go to the CLU Manager again to train a new model. The CLU Manager will also tell you that a new model needs to be trained, if that is an outstanding task. When the new model has finished training, you can assign it to your solution and continue to work with your most recent CLU model. 
CLU allows for a maximum of 10 models in each CLU project. When you read the maximum, you need to remove older models for you to be able to create new ones. In the CLU manager, you can always see which models are being used, so you delete the unused ones. The native CLU integration also enables you to test the performance of your classes by running a test data evaluation on a defined set of test examples. The test data evaluation is part of the class performance optimization tools. The test data evaluation tool checks if the class is correctly annotated on the specified test data and it returns valuable information about precision recall and F1 score. It also identifies conflicting classes by highlighting information about false positives and false negatives. As your project development matures and you're ready to make your solution available to the world, a step is to define the stable version of your project. By using the latest stable flags, you can also define what version of the CLU model should be used in your stable solution. In Studio, you will always find information about what intent classifiers being used in the latest and in the stable version of your solution in the lower left corner. The blue icon indicates what classifier is being used in latest and the yellow icon which one is being used in stable. This information is also available in the CLU manager. If a CLU model was not assigned to the stable version of the solution or if a new CLU model needs to be trained for the latest version, then Studio will switch to learn to make sure that a classifier is always available.